For decades, space exploration has captivated our imaginations. We've sent humans to the moon, rovers to Mars, and probes to the farthest reaches of our solar system. But with current propulsion technology, it takes years to travel even to the closest star systems. The solution to faster space travel may lie in nuclear energy. DRACO, a joint NASA DARPA project, is working on nuclear thermal propulsion technology that could potentially reduce travel time to Mars to just a few months. But how exactly does this new technology work, and what are the potential benefits and risks of using nuclear power for space travel? Let's find out. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, better known as NASA, has recently announced a new plan to bring nuclear thermal propulsion technology back to the forefront of aerospace innovation. This new propulsion technology has the potential to revolutionize space travel, allowing us to travel through space at speeds previously unimaginable. Nuclear thermal propulsion technology is experimental, and it's being developed by NASA and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA. And it's a technology that will power human spacecraft with nuclear thermal rocket engines. With this technology, astronauts could travel to and from deep space faster than ever before, making it a critical capability for preparing for crewed Mars missions. This technology is a critical part of evaluating the technologies that will take us deeper into the solar system. But why is it so important? When we consider the many technological hurdles that separate our current space exploration capabilities from the science fiction dreams of interstellar travel, a few come to mind. Artificial gravity, transporters, and universal translators are some of the technological advancements that we still have to figure out in order to reach the level of space travel in our dreams. However, one constant among all of our visions of the future is the ability to travel very quickly through space, hopping between planets and solar systems in relatively small amounts of time, even hours or days, as opposed to years and centuries. The ability to travel through space quickly is critical for the future of space exploration. In reality, while we have made significant progress in space exploration, our current propulsion technology is limiting our abilities to travel quickly and efficiently. It still takes several days to deliver a heavy payload to our own moon, which is relatively close to Earth compared to the outer planets in our solar system. Traveling to Mars, our closest neighbor planet, takes an average of eight months, which is a long time for crewed missions. Reaching the outer planets like Jupiter and Saturn, which are of particular interest to scientists, takes several years of travel, limiting our ability to explore these distant celestial bodies in depth. But now, NASA has a plan to change all of that, and this one is rooted firmly in science fact. The need for nuclear Thermal propulsion technology has never been more important as we set our sights on the solar system and beyond. When compared to the performance of a chemical rocket engine used in space, the nuclear thermal rocket should provide three to five times the efficiency. This translates into a spaceship that can travel faster, carry more payload, travel longer distances, and maneuver through space much more quickly and easily than any other vehicle we've used so far. In practice, this could mean cutting the transit time for a crewed mission to Mars from 8 months to only 45 days. This is crucial if we want to have any realistic discussions about sending human beings into deep space. The longer a crew is in transit, the greater the risk. Likewise, the longer the crew is required to stay in the vehicle, the more supplies like food and water that they will need to bring with them. Every single ounce of mass carried with them is important when we're talking about spaceflight. As a result, more efficient propulsion technology is absolutely critical for making space exploration sustainable and a viable option in the future. However, this is all about to change with NASA's new plan. Nuclear thermal propulsion technology is not a new concept. The idea has actually been around for decades. It was proposed in the 1940s, and several prototypes were tested in the 1960s, but it was never fully developed. But now, an experimental propulsion technology that goes back decades has finally returned to the forefront of aerospace innovation. To boldly go where no man has gone before, NASA is going nuclear.
So how exactly does nuclear thermal propulsion work? The new experimental propulsion system is based on a simple concept. The basic idea is to use the nuclear reactor's heat to heat up the propellant, such as hydrogen, which is then expelled out of a nozzle to create a high-speed exhaust stream that provides thrust to move the rocket. The nuclear reactor heats the propellant by passing it through a channel or a series of channel in the reactor's core. These channels are built to withstand the nuclear reaction's high temperature and pressures, which can reach up to 4,000 degrees Celsius. The propellant is then expelled out of the rocket engine nozzle at very high speeds, typically around 30,000 meters per second, which generates the thrust needed to propel the rocket forward. This process is known as the rocket's exhaust velocity. When compared to traditional chemical rocket engines, nuclear thermal propulsion systems have the potential to provide much higher specific impulse. This is a measure of the efficiency of a rocket engine. This means that the rocket can achieve higher speeds or carry more payload with the same amount of propellant. The process is highly efficient and practical for spaceflight, making it an ideal propulsion system for future space exploration missions. This new propulsion technology is named as the Demonstration Rocket for Agile Cislunar Operations, or DRACO for short. According to NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, the goal will be to develop and demonstrate advanced nuclear thermal propulsion technology as soon as 2027. With the help of this new technology, astronauts could journey to and from deep space faster than ever with a major capability to prepare for crewed missions to Mars. The first Draco spacecraft will operate in the cis lunar space. That's the space between the Earth and the Moon. If the first demonstration is successful, the technology will be used for future space exploration, possibly even including a crewed mission to Mars. In this joint venture, NASA is taking the lead in developing and demonstrating the nuclear thermal propulsion technology. DARPA's role is to develop and integrate the nuclear propulsion system with the spacecraft design and construction, which includes the avionics, power systems, and other critical components. The benefits of nuclear thermal propulsion technology are rather obvious. It has the potential to significantly reduce space travel time and make crewed missions to Mars and other celestial bodies more feasible. However, there are significant challenges to overcome before the technology can be used for space exploration. One of those difficulties, as you might have guessed, is ensuring safety. Nuclear reactors are inherently dangerous, and the risk of catastrophic failure must be minimized if the technology is to be used safely in space. The consequences of a nuclear accident in space could be catastrophic, not only for the crew, but also the environment. NASA and DARPA will need to develop a fail-safe mechanism to prevent nuclear accidents in order to mitigate these risks. This could entail designing the propulsion system so that the nuclear reactor is protected from any external factors that could cause it to fail. Besides this, there may need to be implemented a redundant safety system that can take over if the primary systems fail. Another issue is the disposal of nuclear waste in space. If the technology is successful, it will produce radioactive waste that must be safely stored or disposed of. This will necessitate the development of new methods and technologies for nuclear waste storage and disposal in space. Another issue is the cost. Nuclear thermal propulsion is not cheap, and developing and implementing it will require significant investments. But if the technology is successful, it could save money in the long run by shortening travel times and enabling crewed missions to Mars and other celestial bodies. The Draco Project's development of nuclear thermal propulsion technology has the potential to change the game in space travel. While there are obstacles to overcome, the technology's potential benefits are enormous. If the technology is successful, it could usher in a new era of space exploration in which crewed missions to Mars and other celestial bodies become more feasible and common. It could also create new avenues for scientific discovery and innovation, pushing the limits of human knowledge and understanding the universe. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.